The sun comes out, it's been cold, the lake looks peaceful, and the fish are calling your name. But you could be doing this in an instant, and that's if you're lucky enough to get out of the water. Or maybe one of these guys has to get you. The Waterford Fire Department was training on Massaday Lake today, so they're sharp on getting people out. Well, we're going to go out there and just basically talk about how we're going to get a victim out of the water if they fall through. Um, some techniques of harnessing the person to ourselves and dragging them out of the ice from cruise on shore. They needed to practice getting people out, so I volunteered to jump in. The waterproof thermal suits they wear double as flotation devices. As I got ready to go out on the lake, ice was close to four inches thick, but that's going to change fast in our warm-up. And that freeze-thaw cycle really creates a problem for the thickness of the ice and uh, it creates a safety issue for those that want to be out here ice fishing. Jumping in was a little nerve-wracking, but it's nice to know what's coming ahead. I tried self-rescue first, kicking my feet as hard as I could. Everyone who goes out on the ice should carry these ice awls or picks. I dug them into the ice to pull myself out. Okay, so now he's in the water and one of our guys is using the life ring. He's going to wrap that around him. He's going to attach that life ring right to the rescuer's um, suit. And you'll see them give the signal, and they'll pull them out. They reminded me to stay calm. It's always an easier thing to say than do. As our ice gets weaker the next few days, firefighters hope they don't need the skills they sharpened on this frozen lake.